Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Ubuntu 24.04.1 LDS version on VirtualBox in Windows environment. First go to ubuntu.com and download the Ubuntu 24.04.1 ISO file. Go to ubuntu.com. This is the official website. Then click on get Ubuntu. See here we have the desktop server Raspberry Ubuntu for IO2 develop on Ubuntu, Windows and Mac OS. So, if you want to install desktop, you have to select desktop. If you want to install server, select server. Then click on get Ubuntu server. If you want to desktop, select it. Select desktop and click on download Ubuntu desktop. See here we have the option to download 24.04.1 LTS and its size is 5.8 gigabytes. And these are the new features in Ubuntu 24.04.1 LDS system requirements. These are the system requirement 2 gigabyte 4 GB system memory, 25 GB of free hard drive space, either USB support or DVD drive for installation media, internet access is helpful. And this is the how to install. Okay. So first we have to download the ISO file. So scroll up, click on download 24.04.1 LDS. Click on it. See, your download should start automatically. See, download has been started. If it doesn't started, you have to click on this download now. Go to downloads. See here, download has been started and its size is 5.8 gigabytes. I'm canceling this one because I have already downloaded the Ubuntu 24.04.1 IS file. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then open Oracle VM Virtual Box. Start VM. See here, Oracle VM Virtual Box. Click on it. See, these are the list of the virtual machines installed on my Oracle VM Virtual Box. If you don't have the Oracle VM Virtual Box on your machine, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. Now, click on New or Machine and Select New. Both are the same to create the virtual machine for the Ubuntu 24.04 LTS version. Click on new. Then provide the name UB 24.04.1. Name can be anything. Then select the folder where you want to store this virtual machine files and folders. So select other. Then select the path where you have the enough space. New folder. Select it. Then select the downloaded IS file. Click on this drop down button. Select the other. Then select the downloaded IS file and click on open. Then select the skip unattended installation. If you don't select this one, it automatically starts the installation. Okay. So click on next. See by default it has selected 2 gigabytes memory. I am going to increase it to 4 gigabytes. It's up to you. Then processes number of CPUs I am going to give to this is also option so click on next and this is the virtual hard disk size I am going to increase it to 50 gigabytes so click on next see this is the summary of the virtual machine hardware information if you want to edit any one of them you have to click on back and you have to edit and you have to come forward so if you are working with all these settings then click on finish after click on finish also you can edit them click on finish now still if you want edit the settings select the virtual machine from this list and click on settings then you can edit any one of them okay so or right click and select the settings see here the first option settings or select it and machine and select the settings all three options are same okay for okay with all the settings you have to click on start to start the installation of ubuntu 24.04.1 virtual machine or right click and select start then normal start or machine then select start normal start all three options are same okay so select it and click on start use up and down arrows and select the first one that is try or install ubuntu and hit enter click on install release or double click on this install ubuntu 24.04 double click on it select the language and click on next next select keyboard layout type i am going with 
English, US and click on next. Use wide connection for the internet. Then click on next. See here we have the two types of installations. Interactive installation and automated installation. I am going with interactive installation. Select it and click on next. Application selection. I am going with default selection. If you want extended selection you have to click on this one. Then you have to select the applications. I am ok with the default one. So click on default selection and next. If you want to install third party software software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware, select both this checkbox and download install supported additional media format or select this one. So click on next. Select the first one, erase disk and install Ubuntu. Then click on next. Now create the user account for the Ubuntu machine. I am going to give user full name as Art Schools and this will be the host name. I am going to change it as Ubuntu 24.04.1. LDS. Later also you can change the computer name or the host name. And this is the username. Then provide the password. Require password to login. And if you want to add this user to Active Directory, you have to select this one. As well as keep this checkbox as unchecked and click on Next. Now select the time zone. You can select from here or you can select the from the this old map. Then click on next. I am ok with these settings. Then click on next. See this is the installation summary. If you want to modify any one of them, you have to click on this back button. And you can edit and you can come forward. Then click on next. I am ok with installation summary or the installation options. Click on install. See installation has been started. This may take time. I am going to skip this installation process. I will resume whenever it asks us to restart the Ubuntu virtual machine. See Ubuntu 24.04 LTS is installed and ready to use. So click on restart now. Now it is asking us to remove the installation medium that is remove the ISO. Right control on your keyboard to get the cursor. Go to here. See here. In optical drive it is already empty. So it is already removed. Okay. Now hit enter. Click on username. Then provide the password that we have given. Hit enter. Click on next. If you want enable Ubuntu Pro, you have to select this one. Otherwise, skip for now and click on next. If you want to send the system data to Ubuntu team, you have to select this one. Otherwise, no and select next. All done. Click on finish. Let me maximize it. Now, click on show applications. Then open terminal. Increase the font size. Preferences, select the unnamed, select this custom font and select the font, select it, close it. Now verify the version of Ubuntu machine. More slash etc os hyphen release hit enter. See we have successfully installed Ubuntu 24.04.1 LTS. Control L to clear screen. The first step after connecting to Ubuntu machine is sudo apt. We have to update the update the package. sudo apt update ampersand sudo apt upgrade. Hit enter. Then provide the password. See, this is the fresh installation. It won't take much time. Type 5 for confirmation and hit enter. All done. If you want to verify the first time, give the first. So, in this video, we have seen how to download and install Ubuntu 24.04.1 LTS on virtual box in Windows environment. For more videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.